Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Angel and today we are going to be talking about some more wonderful, simple Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs. Before we get started, don't forget if you enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, hit that subscribe button down below. Click on the little bell so that you'll get notifications for all of my future videos. I picked up this Christmas sign last year from Dollar Tree and decided to use the back of it to make a new sign. I just gave it a coat of matte white paint and then I'm also going to be using the Dollar Tree wood letters. I'm just painting the letters to spell out Christmas Tree Farm with my black chalk paint. I'm just arranging the letters on the sign and I just traced out some trees from my computer screen. Then you're just going to glue all your letters to the sign. I'm just going to be mixing some green, brown, and a little bit of black paint. I used a thin paintbrush to go over my trees. Once that's complete, I'm just going to carefully fill them in with the same paint. If you watched my last video, I'm just going to use the same technique with Dollar Tree cosmetic sponges. Just dab the sponge over the damp paint to remove some of the brush strokes. I'm also using the same technique to very lightly sponge some white paint onto the trees to give them the look of snow. And finally, I'm just using some brown paint to fill in the trunks of the trees. And this is how my finished sign turned out. I found these wood rectangle planks in the craft section at Dollar Tree and I knew exactly what I wanted to do with them. I'm just going to take three of them and stain them dark walnut. If you don't have stain on hand, you can also achieve the look by staining the planks with coffee or tea. I covered both sides with a light coat and let them dry overnight. The next day they were completely dry. I just took my white paint marker and drew Christmas trees on each plank. Feel free to trace them out or use stencils as well. I just freehand them to look more rustic. Finally, I'm just going to hot glue a Dollar Tree tumbler block to the back of each one so they can stand on their own. For this next project, I'm using Dollar Tree's large craft sticks, some white paint, and some of these boxes I picked up from Walmart for $1.48. I started by painting half the pack of the sticks white, and for the other half I just covered them with strips from the boxes with some hot glue. Then you're just going to trim those down. I just made a random pattern with five sticks of white and patterned. It doesn't matter the pattern, so feel free to just mix them up. Then I just flipped them over and drew the shape of a tree with pencil on the back and cut the sticks down. Once I have the sticks cut down, I'm just going to hot glue them to one of the white sticks. I also decided to add some words to them using a pencil and then going over it with a black sharpie but this is totally optional. Finally, I'm just wrapping the trunk with some twine and hot gluing a piece to the back for hanging. I came across some beautiful Scandinavian inspired trees on Pinterest and I decided to make them with dollar store products. I'm just going to use some large craft sticks and cut the first batch in half for the smaller tree. Then I'm going to very carefully hot glue two of the pieces to a whole stick, angling them slightly. You'll definitely need to hold these until they're completely dry. Then you're going to take two more and glue them about halfway up to the previous ones. I 
I continued this for the next two as well and then glued the top together. For the larger tree, I repeated this process except I didn't cut the craft sticks down. I also picked up these bells from Dollar Tree a while back. I wrapped the top of the trees with some twine, leaving a long strand hanging down the center for the bells. Then you're just going to cut that and tie one bell to each tree. I wanted my trees to stand unsupported, so I went back in and glued a craft stick to each side at the bottom. Finally, I just added some small snow-covered pine cones from Dollar Tree into the bottom. For this final project, if you watched my last video, I made some little snowmen from these Dollar Tree alphabet blocks. So I decided I'm just going to use the rest of what I had to make this Christmas tree. Just like in the last video with the snowman, I just painted these blocks with the matte white paint that I had. Once I had painted all the blocks and they were dry, I just put them in rows to make the Christmas tree and then I just hot glued the blocks together. Then I went in with this Dollar Tree twine and just wrapped the bottom. I also decided to go back in with just some of my copper paint and give the edges a little bit of wear. And finally, I just wanted to dress up the top a little, so I picked up this bow from Dollar Tree and I'm just wrapping around some of this berry garland from Dollar Tree as well. And then I'm just gonna hot glue it to the top of the tree. And this is how my cute little Christmas tree turned out. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Bye!